Jeff Gerstman. Hello, Brad. Hi. Welcome to my theater rhythm. Uh, is that? I don't know, dude. Yeah. I don't know. I I like theater rhythm. The how, how does that How does that strike you? Theater the rhythm. It theater, sounds like theater, two theater rhythm. Two normal words it mashed together. It can't be theater rhythm. No. Theater rhythm. Theat I've heard theater rhythm, which I think sounds terrible. I'm going with theater rhythm until somebody makes me stop. All right. Theater rhythm. Are we good? We're good. I, I guess. We're moving I on. Go, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I'm not stoked on that. But no. Well, what do you like? It's it's just I'm reading it. Well, I'm not reading it anymore. No. So whatever. Too late. It's time to play music. Could it be some kind of omen? Uh, I guess it could. Yeah. Uh, all right. So. I think the only thing more ridiculous than the idea of a Final Fantasy rhythm game uh -huh. is the idea that I really like it. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, so it's a, it's a 3DS rhythm game. Yes. Uh, and you're playing music from the Final Fantasy games. Pretty much, dude. It's it's yeah. It's the it's the numbered Final Fantasy games one to thirteen. Uh, just kind of select tracks and select characters. I see here. Yeah. There. Okay. Wait a minute. Because I have yeah, you selecting wait, characters. You I see. Back? I see things about leveling up your party. Uh, That's. I went back too far. But yeah. Do you think a human and I could find love? Uh, I'm not into that whole interspecies thing, man. So that's a yes then. Let's keep it clean here. All right. Uh, all right. Let's just uh, let's, let's hop into series. There's actually a ton in this game, so I'm kind of I'm actually not totally sure where to start, but. Let's just, uh... So series is the first thing you see. When you first start playing the game, that's all you have. Uh, and you have to unlock all the other modes and all the songs and etc, etc. So, uh, so you jump in here, you got all the games. Yeah. Uh, and you put a party together. So... Is the party dependent on which game you pick? No. Uh, so when you start out, you've got 13 characters to pick. Like, basically the lead character from each of those games. Okay. Uh, I might actually be able to just show you all of them. Yeah, here we go. So it's just kind of arranged by game. Uh, Warrior of Light from the first game. I went with Cecil uh, from Good four. Call. Yeah, Good call. As my leader. Yeah. I've got Terra from six. Uh, obviously skipped over Cloud because fuck that guy. Yeah. Uh, I got Squall from eight and Lightning from 13. That's my party. All right. Uh, they all have stats. You can see that you know, they've got like strength and, and magic and agility ratings and stuff uh, and different kinds of abilities that can trigger uh, while you're playing the games. Oh, wow. Okay, since I've started unlocking stuff, I'm seeing silhouettes of characters that I'm on my way to unlocking. That's cool. That looks like, I'm going to say that's Vivi from Final Fantasy IX. All right. You think? Yeah? Yeah, sure. All right. That's, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Sure. Uh, so once you got your party, I mean, you can change those guys out if you want. But uh, I've, I've leveled these guys up enough at this point that... That you kind of locked in to... I'm, I'm kind of mid-maxing well, I mean, them. what is... At what does leveling point. up mean in the context of this game? Like, what, what do you need? Kind of, kind of levels a lot. in a rhythm game, hit points in a rhythm game. Uh, well, I mean, so it's actually hard to keep up with while you're playing it because you're trying to play the rhythm game. Yeah. Uh, a little too busy to look at stats and stuff. But I mean, I think you like you basically take hits when you miss notes and stuff. Like, okay. You, you'll lose HP uh, for things like that. Uh, so Cecil had he came with a cure spell. Uh, I've actually unlocked enough CP to equip another spell. Uh, Here's some of the stuff I've gotten as I've been playing it. What does Protect do? You? HP gauge drops below 80%, reduces damage taken. That's That sounds pretty good. All right, we'll put Protect on him. Something offensive on there, man. Uh, well, I've got other characters for that. Okay. Like, Terra's got fire. Wow, jeez. Uh, these guys have leveled up quite a bit, actually. I haven't been in here in a while. Uh, what is, I don't have enough for Prey. What does Prey do? Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, I'll give her a cure, sure. Uh, probably don't have enough for him. Weapon break? Dude, I don't even know. Let's just go. Let's give these guys some stuff. Uh, how about... Mm. It's all... Sinewy. Uh, yeah, ugh. A little bit gross. Alright. These guys are equipped. Give myself an item. Uh... All right, extra magic, sure. Why not? Yeah, so you, so you unlock uh, you unlock spells that you can equip as you level, and then you get those items. That uh, I think all the items are single use. Uh huh. Because I keep getting more of the same ones. Uh, all right, so I got my party here. Yeah, I'm on the capture kit. I know. I didn't know that. Uh, I didn't know SD card save data was locked to the 3DS that you made it on, but apparently.
Uh, so yeah. I'm, not, I'm not gonna be able to do a little bit of the side stuff. No, I want to overwrite what I already got. All right, so that's basically what happens at the beginning of the game. You you build your party, equip them with stuff. What's your favorite Final Fantasy? Four. Four? All right, I can do four. Pop right in there. They show you the songs uh, that they have for each game. Uh, is, is there some, uh, do you unlock songs? Yeah, so we'll get into that stuff. Um, okay. So it's basically, yeah, you get like three songs. They break it up into there's a field song, a an event song, which is like a dramatic piece, and then a battle music. Right. Uh, and then you get the, the kind of the, the prelude and then ending themes on the edges of that. That's when you play it in the series mode, which is kind of like a story mode. Um, I've already played uh, four in story mode and then in the challenge mode, so now I've got this expert course. All right. Uh, I don't, uh, I'm going to stick with basic for now. <laughs> okay. Um, the, so, yeah, there are actually a lot of extra side songs that you don't get in the series mode. Um, and those are hard as fuck. So, I'll save my miserable failure for the end when I show you some of that stuff. Are you playing yet? Kinda. What is that? What this, is happening? This is like some dumb... Basically, when you play it in series mode, when you're kind of getting the story, uh, they throw this at you before you start the actual stages. Uh, and it's... You're tapping each time the ball connects yes. with the crystal? Yes. It's kind of dumb, right? Yeah, sure. Um, you can see my Rhythmia increasing in the corner there. Uh, You've got a Rhythmia? Yes. I, I've got an appointment scheduled for right. this week. We'll get that taken care of. Um, yeah, the Rhythmia is basically like currency, uh, except you don't really spend it. It's more like you hit a milestone, like you get 5,000 Rhythmia and they unlock some new thing. Ah. Uh, so I'm still getting into that stuff. This is certainly music from Final Fantasy yes, IV. Yes, you might recognize it. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of stoked that they didn't go like try to rearrange all this stuff. It's just yeah, like I figured a straight it was all going to be dance remixes of no, all this stuff. No, it's just the straight up MIDI out of like it's kind of cool to play Final Fantasy One and just hear all that like Square Wave NES music. Together we wait ruthlessly with pride. What? Like they always just like make these mishmash nonsense sentences that are actually kind of funny. All right, so every uh, every story mode uh, game basically starts with starts with you on the field, and it's always just sort of like the overworld music, right? Yeah. So that's hold on the screen and move up and down to keep that line. Yep. That's what I'm doing on that one. And you're letting off and hitting again. Yep. Letting and off. And there you're tapping. Tap, direction. Like tap, a swipe. Direction. Yep. Hold. Yeah, the, the swipes are a little finicky. You have to, like, make a really big motion, or it, sometimes it won't pick it up. Ah. Uh, which is kind of a pain. Huh. Uh. 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 Jeff, I'm just going to say it. This is back when Final Fantasy mattered. Yeah, totally. This... this, this this is inarguably the golden era of Final Fantasy. I will hear no different. Pretty much this one. This one in six. Seven did more harm than good. I, yeah, I'm, I'm. To the whole genre. Looking back from a historical perspective, I, I tend to agree. I got a chocobo. All right. When it when it turns blue like it just did, if you hit all the notes, then you get uh, what do they call that? It's called like feature mode or something. This game is so full of weird, nonsense, arbitrary jargon. Yeah. Uh, I think that's, it's called feature mode. If you're in the event stage, uh, it turns into chocobo. If you're in a battle stage, it counts as a summon. And it's Rydia. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Let's Here's a treasure. Now I'm gonna burn down your village. That's rank. Not bad. Uh, pretty easy, you know? Once you once you get into the just kind of the the rhythm, 
of well, how, I mean, of how is, the game is that, works. Is that uh, all there is to it from a motion perspective? Is that everything that in the rhythm portion? No, no, no. So, like I said... Are there more to it, like circles and swipes and yeah. other stuff? So, we're getting okay. into the other two modes here. I'll just fly through those real quick. Okay. Uh, you level. Obviously, you gain experience. Um, yes, you did, Squall. Good job. Get some items. Brigand's gloves. Move on to the next stage. I wish they, uh, I wish they kind of gave you a better roadmap of what the rhythm is going to do, because it basically is just a number that keeps getting bigger, and then all of a sudden it'll be like, hey, you got this thing, but yeah. you don't ever like really know what you're working toward, because uh, there's a ton of extra content in this. Yes, um, extra characters, extra songs, extra all kinds of stuff. What about dark notes? Build out your profit card. I'll show you dark notes. Oh. After we go to the Chaos Shrine. Uh, well, it says you can't save Dark Notes without that extra data on the yeah. SD card. Well, I won't be able to make any progress. All right, so this is the uh, this is the event mode. Where it doesn't scroll, it's more like it kind of follows this... Oh, God damn it. Follows this track. You remember this song, right? Yeah. Now, are you swiping to follow the track, or no, are you no, just No, 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 I'm just tapping and, like, hold. tap or hold, okay. Let off. Oh, totally missed. No, I didn't. Hold, tap, tap. Meanwhile, you get to watch a Swipe. video of... Yep. I know, right? Isn't that kind of weird? It's really weird. Isn't it super? Everything about this game is just bizarre. Like, in a way that I can kind of get behind. It's 40 bucks, which might be a tad steep. I haven't decided yet. Hmm. Still unlocking a bunch of songs, so. Uh. Oh god, damn it. Why would I do that? Uh, but yeah, it's just so. Such a strange package that I kind of can't help liking it. It'd be nice if. I don't know, if they had. Like, this stuff from the game actually react to how well you were uh, doing, or if they were swinging swords in time to the music. I, I don't know. I yeah, actually don't know if that would make this game any better or not. But Yeah, I mean, this it, is obviously just FMV. Like, just having you, yeah, having you play against, like, some footage they recorded of Final Fantasy IV. Well, there's the... We haven't done the battle yet. All That's right. the last part. Okay. Big whale, Jeff. Yeah. Big whale. Best airship in any RPG ever. Just hang out, you know? So those event stages are always like some love theme or sappy dramatic thing. Yeah. Uh, ooh. Yeah, that wasn't so good. Less good. I'm not. I'm not very good at those event ones for for whatever reason. Uh, kind of prefer the other two. More war. Yeah. Cecil looking to get scrappy. How do you feel about the renditions of these characters, like the the style? It, yeah, it's weird. It's like they 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 came up with a weird sort of unique style for this, like and they're then dressing up these dolls to look like sort of like right, Final Fantasy characters right. or something. It's also weird that they took took characters from games with different designers, you know, so they're all like, the characters have different styles themselves and mashed them all into this one. It's kind of cool. It's cool to have like a, a, a unique and cohesive art style for this game. Yeah. I guess if you're gonna, if you're gonna take games across like, God, what, like five different platforms? Right. Um, you know, yeah. we carry on strongly together. That one... That one's kind of a whiff. Some of them are better than that. All right, here's the battle. So this is where characters are actually doing stuff. Do you have to tap in different areas for the different characters? No, or? it's just anywhere on the okay. screen. Which I don't, I personally don't mind, you know? Like, that means I can play this game on the bus. Right. With, like, the, with the 3DS kind of bouncing around in my hands a little bit, you know? You don't have to be super precise with the uh, with the positioning of the style. It's just the timing, you know. Yeah. With the exception of those swipes, those are those are kind of finicky. Definitely had issues where like the uh, 
a stylus like drifts over to the edge of the screen and then I don't have enough room to swipe. Oh yeah, and yeah. That's, and that's not cool. All right, summon time. Hellfire. Yeah. Snake lady. Is this where the, the way you equip your character comes into play? Yeah, like they'll use the spells that they have equipped on them. Uh, but you don't have any control over like what they do, you know? Right. Oh, man, I haven't... And either way, you play the whole song, right? Uh, well, if you lose, obviously. Like, the characters will die if, you, yeah. if, you're, if you're screwing up. Like, but it's not know. like you can make this battle take less time by... or the song cut off soon or sooner by killing everything, right? Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't done a whole lot of playing the same songs over and over to see how that stuff changes. Oops. I've definitely had it end on different enemies before. Like mm -hmm. that guy, I've, I've never gotten, is that Rubicant? Never gotten him to show up before, so I guess I was doing better at that time. Huh. Uh, I don't know, it actually it says I've gotten an S on that one before. Hell, I don't know. Anyway, that's uh, that's pretty much the extent of what you get out of any one game in this. Yeah. Like when you pick one, and then you all well, have to go through the have to go through the ending theme of that one uh, as well. Uh, you get a bunch of bonuses. Title character bonus. Yep. Is that for bringing Cecil, Cecil into, into the game? Yep. All right, I got a Scarlet Shard. Hooray! So if I get eight of those, I get whoever that character is. I guess those characters start at level one. I don't know. I assume you would have to have to level those up. Mm. Uh, all right. Blast through this real quick. Well, I guess I could skip it. You know what? Screw it. Obviously, you you know you don't get the little rhythmia bonus if you yeah if you blow past that. But let's move on. What else is in here? Dude, no. Never. Never. So that's the series mode. I mean, like I said, it's kind of the core story mode. Yeah. Uh, you, when, you, when you beat stuff in there, you add it to uh, the challenge mode. So here's here are the games I've played so far. Um, and playing them in challenge mode is what gets you... Uh, see, when I go into that, you know, that's what got me the expert level of that song. Ah. Uh, and then a couple of these, a couple of these I have gotten ultimate on. I am not brave enough to go in there yet. I don't know oh, what let's, that's see, let's see what it looks like. Let's, let's just, let's, you know, let's, go let's, in and... and why, don't we, why don't we end on that one? Let's go to the dark right. mode stuff. Uh, although, maybe the dark notes, for all I know, may be ultimate difficulty level. They're hard as hell. Um, so you, uh, I unlocked one dark note playing, I think, challenge. Oh, dude. That... Yeah, because you don't have your extra data, well, like it's hoping, been saying on every single menu. I know, but I was hoping it would at least let me see the ones I finished already, because I've got like five of them. Uh, yeah, that sucks. Anyway, uh, this is where the extra songs come into play. Um, these are all random, ah. uh, and I think a few of them are from the series mode, but uh, I think I already know what this one's going to be since I've played it. But... Uh, But here is where you get a bunch of the uh, the songs that you aren't seeing in the series mode, which is good because like some of the song choices for a few of the games are less than desirable for me. Yo, it's one winged uh, angel up in this. I hear it is, yeah. Oh wait, no, you're, it totally is. It is. It's in the series version of seven.
like the the sounds of you doing well or, or whatever detract from the way this game I, sounds. I, I, yeah, I, I agree. It's a little bit uh, it's a little bit intrusive. It gets in the way. This one's actually not. Who brought that. the tambourine and the bells, man? Come on. This one's actually not nearly as hard as some of the some of the dark notes I'm getting now are just like just completely savage. Constantly flying at you with like swipes in, in eight different directions nah. and stuff. Uh, but obviously we can't get to any of those here. But yeah, I mean, if it was if it was just the stuff in the series mode, uh, this game would be maybe a little tough to recommend for the, for the forty dollars price. Right. Uh, but but now that I'm getting into this Dark Notes stuff and seeing that there's actually a ton of extra songs that I haven't seen yet, uh, and, and those characters I haven't gotten and stuff, like it actually feels like they they sort of justify the asking price. And they're also going to be selling additional songs. For yes, us. they are. Uh, that stuff isn't up yet, so I don't know for sure. Uh, what, like what the costs are going to be and stuff, yeah. but the, the speculation I was seeing online was a dollar a song, hmm. which, I don't know, seems a little iffy. Because they were saying, I think Depends this, on how, how many modes those songs get integrated into. I think like only, I think it, in fact, I think it says, whoa, what is this about? Do I get, do I get to pick? Mm, guess not. Uh, I think it says right in the game that the songs, or maybe it was in the manual, that the, the, the purchase songs only go into the challenge mode. Ah. Uh, although, I mean, at a certain point, that's all you're going to want to play anyway. Yeah. Because that's where the ultimate difficulty is, so you're going to level up faster there, and you're not... Let gonna... it end, Brad. Yeah? Let it end. Okay, I mean... Get lost. I feel like you guys are trying to tell me something. Have you had enough? I, I want to see, see something ultimate? really hard. Okay. I want to see how hard this game gets. All right. Let's do that. Yeah, I guess uh, without my extra data on the SD card, that's about all I can show you, unfortunately. It's a little limitation of our capture setup here. Um, but yeah, I mean, you... Well, let's see. It might give me... I'm not going to play it, but I think it... It might give me... Wait. Okay, hang on. Another stage. What is this about? Oops. See, getting harder. Yeah. If you had to compare this to a rhythm game, what comes to mind? Uh, I mean, you know, like some of that stuff is is elite beat agents like. Yeah, like the one where um, it moves around. Like, did you feel like there's any? I haven't played poppin' music in forever, but would you say there's some of that in here? Uh, maybe a little bit. But yeah, yeah not so much. Uh... Oh. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it gets way worse yeah. than that. Some of the dark notes I've gotten recently are just fucking fucked. Oh. And swipes the end of holds. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's... Yeah, like like I said, the basic stuff is really basic. Not entirely unlike something like Elite Beat Agents, for sure. Yeah. Like, even if you're not into the Final Fantasy stuff, like, as a rhythm game, if you, if you want something like that, huh? Uh, there's some, there's some decent challenge in here. Judgment Bowl. I guess I, I just... No, I don't know. I, I get why they are presenting these battles in the classic format that they are presented in in the real games. I guess I just thought that there would be more dynamic animation. Yeah. Of like, here's Cloud dancing and swinging a sword at an enemy that is also dancing. And as right. you do well, it, it hits land. You know? Right. I, I guess that, that's what I thought this game was going to be. It's not very flashy. Although, I mean, again... Which, I don't know if that would make it a better game or a worse game, but that's... that's well, again, when you're playing it, you don't really have time to right, look at that exactly. stuff. Like, I barely can even pay attention to what they're doing. It's uh, also weird that the whole bottom screen is just nothing. Yeah, it's not like you're tapping of. on specific... 
points on the screen, but like you said, that, that has its own benefits. Sure. Sure. I'll fight on. Yeah. New dark note. Oh, that's a different one than I had ever gotten before, so I guess it's I guess it's random. Yeah, Seems like every yeah. time you finish Dark Note, it gives you another one. Ah. Uh, and it looks like there's 99 of them, so you could definitely spend a lot of time on that. Yeah. And then that's that's the extra data stuff that you can't install onto this this piece of hardware. Yes. Uh, that's basically like the street pass stuff, like you're trading yes. Dark Notes with other players and stuff. Uh, yeah, you actually go make a whole little... That's what the profit card is. You make like a slogan and a background and okay. like uh, choose colors and all this goofy stuff. All right. Uh, so there is street pat. In fact, you can you can trade dark notes also. Right. Uh, I don't think you lose them when you trade them, but you can like, if you street pass with somebody, you will get the dark notes they've got. Right. Or, or something like that. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I don't know what the what's up with the. Oh, jeez. All right. Hey, there's multiplayer. I didn't know that. Hey, there's multiplayer. Okay. All right. Great. Uh, all right. Shall we finish out? I think so. Sadly, I think. Uh, I think I've only got the potential for that expert, or for that ultimate mode on those, those songs from 4 that we already did. Oh, well. Shit. Yeah, that's a shame. Well, whatever. Let's see what it looks like. Alright, let's try this one. Alright. I wish I... I can't remember what I did that, uh, that opened up that ultimate. I guess maybe just did well enough on the expert. Altogether, we observe gently. Or, or not. not. Huh. All right. Right? Yeah. It's not bad. There's there's a charm to this game. Yeah. Oh. This is not not impossible. No. But if you're saying the swiping is finicky, giving yeah. you diagonal swipes is maybe... Well, as, as... Damn it. As long as you... Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know if I can express a coherent thought while playing this. Yeah. Uh, as long as, like I said, as long as you make those really gross movements, it, it seems to be fine. And to be fair, they tell you straight up in the tutorial, uh, don't flick, like, make a big motion. Like, they... Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they go out of their way to tell you how exactly to make it work, so... It's more like when you ignore that or you aren't thinking about it, sometimes it will fail. To be fair, I think these, uh... God damn it. How about I just get through this? Sure. <laughs> Falling apart. Down to my third character. Oh, I didn't realize that was happening. Yeah. Yeah, if you miss enough, like, like you know, you see the life bar. Ah! Jesus. That was pretty close. Yeah, you can see the life bar yeah. up there. You, know, okay. you lose characters yeah. as you take damage. I think I was, like, one miss away from failing that. Whew. Um, and, yeah, I think, those, I think those field stages are the easiest ones in terms of the format. Right. Those other two are definitely harder. Uh, I don't really want to see what those look like on Ultimate because that's fucked. <laughs> you get a lot of uh, uh, you get a lot of experience, obviously, off of that. So if you want to level up fast, playing the Dark Notes and playing these higher difficulties is the way to do it. Uh, dude, I don't know. Yeah, I really like this game. I don't even know if I should. <laughs> the DLC stuff maybe seems a little iffy. Oh, whatever. A dollar uh, song. I mean, this. That's iTunes price. Extra songs in rhythm games cost money. Yeah. That is a standard. Right. If there are not enough songs in this game, then it becomes a problem. Right. Again, again, I was feeling like there weren't just playing those story mode yeah. things, but then getting into the dark or the, the, the chaos shrine. And seeing all the extra songs in there, like I'm hearing some stuff that I remember fondly. And I mean, honestly, I don't even care that I'm being pandered to here. Sure. Like this is this is a total nostalgia trip, and that's really the only reason I'm playing it. Uh, it's like Rock Band Beatles, but with Final Fantasy. Yeah, kind of. I mean, 
Yeah, Final Fantasy, basically my Beatles. That's what I'm trying to say. That's uh, that's not what I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh crap! This this must all be extra data stuff. That stinks. Try to get your Kana on here. You know what? Playing music like that in in the rhythm sections might be the best thing in this. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That's uh, cool. Yeah, I guess I, I guess I can't show you most of the stuff I've got unlocked here, but you know, lots right. of there's like trading cards, and you can unlock all the songs and blah blah blah. Cool. All right. I well. feel like this is a solid package. It's well, it's forty dollars. <laughs> yeah. No, it's really exciting. You're, you're enthralled. I can see. <laughs> Forty bucks, you know, like if if you're into rhythm games and you love old Final Fantasy, it's uh, it's it's pretty easy to recommend, I think. And it's the first thirteen Final Fantasy games. Yes. Uh, you know what? Actually, it's got uh, unlockable and and or maybe it's just through DLC. There are some of the the more recent like PSP games and stuff. Oh, so uh, it's, you can it's side stuff. Yes. And, like non-numbered. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So some some newer stuff too. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there's there's a decent amount of stuff crammed in here. And sure. It's, it's pretty fun if you're into handheld rhythm games. So there you have it. The at rhythm. The the at rhythm. Okay, the at rhythm. Got it. Thanks. The, theater, but without the er. So theat. No, I no, I got you. Rhythm. Yeah, I got you. We're good. Thanks. Theat rhythm. 